Welcome back to Work From Hype, where today we're doing something a little bit different. About a month ago, Elgato announced a project called Virtual Stream Deck, which is an update to the Elgato Stream Deck software, which allows you to create your own virtual macro pads. So instead of having to buy a physical Stream Deck, you can create one using software. And this gave me an idea. What if we paired this virtual Stream Deck software with a cheap touchscreen display? Couldn't we make our own Stream Deck for much, much cheaper? I picked I picked up this touchscreen display for about $30 on Amazon, and I'm gonna see if I can make my own. First, let's unbox this guy. Okay. Oh man, is that a is that a CD-ROM? Well, how hard could it be? Here we have the, oh, it's a completely exposed board. This is a $35 display. These types of displays are for small electronics projects, usually with a Raspberry Pi. And so what I'm trying to do here is not exactly what they're made for. I don't care if it looks super clean. I just wanna get Stream Deck functionality out of a $30 display. First, I'm gonna try to set this up using this Windows laptop because it has a full-size USB and a full-size HDMI port and just hope it works without me having to download a bunch of sketchy drivers. And, hey, oh wow, it looks like we're in business. The touch panel is also working just straight out the box. I'm kind of impressed that for $30, you can get a working capacitive touchscreen. However, right now it's only working on my Windows laptop. When I plug it into my Mac, the display works, but the touch panel does not, which kind of defeats the purpose of this whole project. More on that a little bit later. Right now, we need to move on to the Stream Deck software. So I've downloaded the latest version of the Stream Deck software, but I'm not seeing the option to create a virtual Stream Deck. Ways to unlock. Hmm. Okay. Turns out to have access to the virtual Stream Deck, you need to plug in a real Stream Deck first, which kind of kills the entire point of this video. <sighs> So this is just a mess now. Here we go, add virtual device. Turns out to get access, all you had to do was purchase a $200 accessory. Okay, so I'm starting to see that this is actually going to work, although the buttons are um, a little bit small, a little hard to hit. But that's okay because it turns out these virtual stream decks are pretty customizable. You can make your virtual stream deck as small or gigantic as you want it to be. You can change the background color of the virtual panel so that it matches your wallpaper. And of course, you can resize the panel as well, which is important because I need this panel to fit on my tiny touch screen that I bought off Amazon. And from there, the experience is like using any other stream deck product. And for this project, I created a simple layout of shortcuts. On the top left, I have the time and date, a few buttons to control my microphone and speakers, media control for Spotify, a Pomodoro timer for productivity, and shortcuts to my most used apps. But like any other Stream Deck or macro pad, the real benefits of a device like this come when you customize it for your own workflows. For example, I've created a page of video editing shortcuts to help me speed up my editing. But just like every macro pad I've shown on this channel, it's all about your creativity and coming up with solutions to speed up your workflows. The Virtual Stream Deck allows me to create custom tools to use at my desk. But what if I wanted to build a tool and share it with the world? Well, that's where Hostinger Horizons, the sponsor of today's video, can be super useful. Hostinger Horizons is a chat-based tool for building web applications, and it's really fast. For example, I wanted to make a beverage tracker for myself so I could learn how dehydrated I truly am. All I had to do was type a few sentences describing what I wanted in my web app. And if you don't feel like typing, you can just use your microphone and Horizons just built it for me in minutes. And this is not a mock-up, it actually works. You can tweak the design, change the look, edit features, and when it's ready, you just hit publish, no coding required. And if you wanna share your creation online, Hostinger also offers domain and hosting services. With Hostinger Horizons, you can go from a basic idea to a fully functional prototype in just minutes. And I think that's wild. So if you wanna try it out for yourself, you can use my link in the video description or use my my code work from hype for a discount on your order. All right, back to the video. 
So what have we learned? Is this $30 DIY stream deck even usable? Well, yeah, the concept works. Unfortunately for this specific touchscreen, I was only able to get it working on Windows and not on Mac. Maybe if I had a CD-ROM drive, I could have got it working on my Mac. However, on Windows, the experience was more or less perfect. I was able to tap the screen to trigger shortcuts, and I think it looks pretty nice on this little display. As for the Stream Deck software, the experience is identical to using a regular Stream Deck. But would I choose a virtual Stream Deck as my main macro pad? Well, not yet. Mainly because I use a Mac and I'm a big dummy and bought a display that only works on Windows. But also, the only way to access Virtual Stream Deck is to connect a more expensive piece of physical hardware. But Elgato makes it clear that this is a preview of the software and I am expecting changes. But in the future, I hope Elgato gives us an option to purchase a license for Virtual Stream Deck, allowing users like me to get a Stream Deck experience on any hardware they want. Having more options is always a good thing. Okay, hold on, I can't end this video without at least mentioning Stream Deck Mobile. The concept is very similar to the Virtual Stream Deck I just showed you, but instead of having to bring your own touchscreen, you can use any smartphone or tablet that you may have lying around. There's even a free version of this software, which is very capable, but if you want the customization like I just showed you for Virtual Stream Decks, you will have to pay for Stream Deck Mobile Pro. It's another solid option if you're interested in setting up a Stream Stream Deck, but don't want to purchase physical hardware. It turns out I do have an iPad on my desk that I could have used for Stream Deck Mobile for this entire project. <sighs> That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching Work From Hype. My name is Nick Moe, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. 